Okay, now recently I posted a video about brand new Samsung clock application on One UI 8.5. And in that video, we could not really take a look at how the weather effect works on the alarms. So I thought I'll make a quick video and show you guys how this works. And let's also take a look at the brand new clock application on which Samsung has added some brand new features. Now, before we go ahead, if you're interested in these widgets here, this is from a premium application called Glass UI about which I have already posted a video. I will leave a link for that in the description. You can go and check that out and the wallpaper background is from Volvo's application I have recently added this uh, wallpaper just a day ago I have added this brilliant wallpaper you can go ahead and check it out the link is in the description and of course while you do that be sure to hit that subscribe button to become a part of Apex community to know your phone better and stay updated with everything that's happening with your phone and give this video a like as well I would really appreciate that now let's go ahead and open the clock application here we have got this brand new interface now we've got this island which is at the bottom which houses all these buttons and we do get some suggestions on the top now let's create a brand new alarm here and when i scroll down here we have got the alarm background right here when i tap on this earlier on one ui 8.5 we only had these color options we had these beautiful gradient colors which were available but now on one ui 8.5 we have got this brand new option called weather and when you select this weather we will get to see the weather effect right there on the screen when the alarm rings. If it is raining, you will see the rain effect on the screen. If it is snowing, you will see the snow effect. And likewise, it changes depending on the weather when the alarm rings. So let's go ahead. I have selected this weather effect here. Let's go ahead and tap on done. And let's wait for the alarm to ring here. There we go. This looks just amazing. Uh, there is no effect here because it's clear sky here in my location. Uh, if it was raining, probably we would have seen the rain on the screen and maybe snow on the screen if it was snowing. But yeah, this is definitely cool. The moment you open your eyes, you will know what the weather is like in your area when you look at the screen. That's the weather effect on the alarms on One UI 8.5. Now, apart from the alarms, you can also notice that Samsung did make some more changes here. We've got this beautiful tab here with all these locations that I selected. The cities where it is dark right now are in dark mode here. And the cities where it's currently uh, sunny or uh, during the daytime, then those cities are depicted in slightly lighter background here you can see. And then comes this amazing option. This is called time zone converter. When you tap on that, you will see all the cities that you've selected and you get a slider here at the bottom. You can use that slider to change the time. And as you can see, the time is changing in all these cities and it will give you the current time depending on the time that you're selecting. So basically it's a time zone converter. If you're somebody who keeps traveling around the world, then you will know what time it is in the city that you've selected. For example, now in Bangalore, it's 5.13 a.m. let's say, then Tbilisi will be 3.43, New York will be 6.43, Tokyo will be 8.43, London will be 11.43. Now, if I change it to, let's say, uh, 6.43 a.m. or 6.44 a.m. in Bangalore, then the time in London will be 1.14. 5.14 in Tbilisi, New York 8.14 p.m. So this is how the time changes. So this will be very useful if you're somebody who keep traveling around the world and want to keep a tap on the timing in different cities. And then of course you can see the uh, these islands here. These are the buttons which are floating and this is across the UI. This is across the entire One UI system settings and applications. And you can also notice that blur effect at the bottom and on the top which looks nice. But again that is subjective. Let me know what you think about that blur effect. Then comes the stopwatch. We have got this beautiful gradient effect in the background for the stopwatch and it really looks pretty cool. And this is the analog option that we have. And if you swipe towards the right, we got the digital option as well. Let me start this uh, timer here. As you can see, let's go for a lap here. Second lap, third lap, fourth lap, fifth lap. So uh, this is how it looks. And when I swipe towards the right, we have got the digital display right over here. That is the uh, stopwatch for you guys. Let's stop this, reset, let's go to the next tab. That is the timer. Now for the timer, we have got these capsules here, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and 30 minutes. And when I tap on start, this is how beautiful it looks now on One UI 8.5. Now let's see if we have the mini timer still on One UI 8.5. Let's go ahead and tap on start here. 
and go to the home screen yes we do have the mini timer still available we will be able to disable this by going to the settings on the clock application but yeah this option still exists while the live notification shows the information as well so this is the brand new clock that we have uh, on vaniva 8.5 let me know what do you think and also share your thoughts about the weather effect do you like it do you want to use it in the coming days drop a comment and let me know and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you find this video informative thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe i'll see you in the next one soon cheers bye bye